Hey guys, Rise here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do finally the skincare, best of skincare for 2016. Yun lang before we start, I would like to apologize. Napundi yung aking isang pin light. I have two pin lights sa kwarto, one in here and one on the other side. Pero napundi yung on the other side. So it's really dark. On this side, I don't know. It's darker than what it is. And yeah, I'm finding ways on how I can... Um, make the lighting better. I did order a ring light. Hindi ko alam kung kailan siya dadating, but I did order one. And, yeah, pagdating nun, mas marami tayong tutorials sa dadating, mas maraming reviews, and mas maraming, um, maybe lip swatches because I have a better lighting. Today, pagtsagaan na muna natin. Anyway, we're just going to talk about skincare. Wala naman akong demonstration, wala namang tutorial, or whatever. So, I'm just excited to talk about the best skincare. The best skincare for 2016. The things that really worked out for my skin type. I am a certified makeup remover addict. But I have two to share. Actually, yung isa nakalimutan ko sa banyo. I'll flash it right now. That is that. I love that cleansing oil. It, it smells good. It feels good. It really does remove your makeup. It's an oil-based product, so definitely it will melt out your oil-based makeup. Oil-based uh, makeup items, meaning yung mga waterproof items like your mascara, eyeliner, tight liner, um, ano pa ba? Liquid lipstick. It does remove liquid lipstick really well. So yun, kung nagmumroblema kayo kung paano nyo tatanggalin yung mga makeup na yan, try out that cleansing oil. Ayoko nang banggitin yung brand kasi hindi ko talaga siya alam banggitin. And I think that's my second bottle and Kalahati ko na yung boting yun. I'm going to definitely repurchase when I finish that one. It's cheap, actually. It's just worth um, 299 if I am not mistaken. Nasa 299 or 399 I don't know it's 300 or 400 Pero nasa ganun lang siya. It's really gentle. It does not irritate my eyes, which I really love. Yun ang talagang number one criteria ko sa isang makeup remover. It should not irritate my eyes. Kasi you're removing stuff in there. You're removing your eyeshadow. Removing your waterproof mascara. So... Yun ng number one criteria para sa akin. Dapat hindi siya mahapdi sa mata. I have another makeup remover that's I'm really enjoying. This is the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero. I'm sure you have heard of this one. It's this fantastic tub right here. At dami ng variant nito. I, I think meron na sila for sensitive skin or for radiance or meron na rin sila for um, oily. I don't know. This is the regular one. It's the one with the pink cap. And I'm almost finished with this one. In alternate ko yung dalawa when I am really wearing um, heavy makeup like what I'm wearing right now. After filming, ito talaga yung mga go-to makeup remover ko. Because it does the job of removing anything waterproof. Just like the cleansing oil that I've showed earlier on. So, gustong gusto ko sila. Um, they work the same actually. Ito lang mas mahal siya. Mas mahal siya. But I think that this is more moisturizing. This would cost you, I think, less than 1,000 if not more than 1,000 pesos. I would link it below sa Altaya Korea, Philippines ko to nabili. Generally, it's good. It does not irritate my skin. It's really gentle but it's really, really effective on removing makeup. I think this is the perfect dupe for uh, the... Um, the makeup remover that Manny MUA is raving about. It's the Clinique Cleansing Balm. I just name it's a balm. It looks like this one. Para siyang, di ko alam kung kita, para siyang wax and then you just scoop it out, apply it on your face and then rub it off. And then kapag hinugasan mo, para silang, para silang facial cleanser na nagma-melt off. So that's what they look like. My hair is driving me crazy! More cleansing stuff. I I have two here na isang item lang because they both um, do the same job. I am really loving the Wonder Pore Freshener of Etude House and also the Maybelline Micellar Water. I think this acts as a makeup remover and this both are hydrating. They do not dry my skin. Uh, on a daily basis, like um, office makeup, hindi naman talaga ako nag-heavy makeup. When I do heavy makeup, I tend to go for this one and the cleansing oil. But um, if I'm just on a regular day, I mean, I don't wear mascara on a daily basis. I don't wear liquid lipstick on a daily basis. Ito yung ginagamit ko because they perfectly remove the makeup that's not, that's just, you know, not waterproof. Yung mga normal lang na makeup, mga normal na makeup, yung mga... Um, mga no makeup makeup look na ganyan. So, kung wala kayong waterproof or whatsoever na nilagay sa inyong muka, try this one out because they are really effective on removing makeup. I use this one before cleansing, before um before my facial cleanser. Usually, yung mga micellar water, they tend to claim na hindi mo na kailangan mag-wash ng face after using this one. But I highly, highly suggest that you do wash your face after this one kasi hindi mo alam kung ano pa yung residue na matitira sa mukha mo. So, it's really important to clean your face with this one then 
go with your um, regular facial foam or your regular facial cleanser. And then another item for cleanser, I feel like I dedicate my time, my night routine or my skincare routine 80% or 70% on cleansing. So this is my third cleansing item. Of course, you need a facial wash. And this one is the one that did stand out for 2016. This is the Maison Multifunction Formula Snail Repairing Foam Cleanser. You are cleaning your face without the drying effect. Actually, kasi yung mga heavy cleansing na facial foam, they tend to dry me out. While cleansing, it is actually moisturizing. So, yun ang gusto ko sa kanya. It does not dry me out. It does not irritate my skin. It just does the job of cleaning my face without the irritation and without the drying. So, ito yung mga gustong gusto kong formula. Tapusin muna natin ang ating mga pangpatanggal ng dumi at pang-exfoliate. So, speaking of exfoliation, I am really loving, really loving for last year, yung skin food. So this is the Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. This is what it looks like. It actually, it actually looks like you can eat it. Kasi amoy siyang honey and sugar. And medyo kadiri yung itsura niya, but it does work. You will get here really um, huge granules of sugar. Skin Food is a Korean brand, and it actually advocates for a natural, naturally cleansing, naturally moisturizing your face. So, gumagamit sila ng mga ingredients, food ingredients talaga. So, it does the job of really exfoliating my skin. Yun lang, I cannot use this twice a week. I use this once a week only. Feeling kasi nito, parang nadidiklog nga yung pores mo. It's like, it's pulling out or it's just cleansing your pores. It's really, really effective in removing dead skin cells kasi nga meron siyang um, scrubbing effects. And then another for exfoliation or maybe detoxing your skin is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. You know guys, I really do love this one. Ilang beses to na feature sa aking favorites. Mas nagustuhan ko yung effect niya sa skin ko nung wala siyang honey. So if you have really, really, really sensitive skin, I suggest you put honey on your solution. Kung hindi naman sensitive yung skin ninyo or if you want an extra pooling or extra oomph factor dun sa effect nito, remove the honey and just use apple cider vinegar. I haven't tried this one using water. You can definitely use this one mixed just with water. I can see improvements. You need to use it on a regular basis para makita mo yung effect ninyo. Noong una kasi, yung mga first 3 weeks ko siyang gamitin, wala masyado ako nakikita ang effect. Like my skin is it, it, it does cleanses my skin. Pero walang parang kakaibang naging effect sa skin ko. But after few more weeks of testing it out, it actually did dried out my um, my pimple marks. Nakita niyo yung mga pimple marks ko before. So those were, were gone. Yun lang, it's really tedious to prepare because you have to mix things and get things and wash things and clean things. So, But this is actually recommended just once a week or twice a week. So kung Wag na kita marin because this is really good. It's just you need to wait. This is a product that needs waiting. So this is one of the magic. I use this when I have oily skin. Use this when I have dry skin. It works perfectly on all skin type, I believe. So this is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Uh, it is very raved about. It is raved about in the Korean beauty community. The scent is phenomenal. Gusto ng gusto ko yung niya. This actually reminds me of sleeping. Kapag naaamoy ko to, it's bedtime. But apply this after cleansing all that toner and all that routine that you do. This is the last step. This is the last step before you sleep. I use this actually on a daily basis. I alternate this one and face mask. This really reminds me of the serum or the essence that's in the face mask. Parang ganun siya in a bottle. So, yon. If you're um, not in the mood to apply those and remove those and you just want to sleep, Try this one out. Worth it, I think, for its price, especially sa may mga dry skin type. But this is water based, water sleeping mask nga siya. So don't be afraid kung meron kayong oily skin. Kasi hindi naman kayo mago oil up dito. Actually, it does not really add up oil. It just moisturizes your skin. Para mo lang binabad sa tubig yung mukha mo overnight. So it really plumps up my skin. Next one is, nakita niya na, these are the face mask. Um, actually, face mask in general. I don't really see the difference from brand to brand. Basta sa akin, face mask, face mask yan. It will moisturize my skin. It will do good things on my skin. So, ang bongga-bongga na gamit ko for last year is yung mga The Face Shop. Because they are always on sale. I think right now, they are on sale 5 plus 5. So, kung meron pang face mask sa mga face shop ninyo, counters ninyo, Go and grab one. Marami kang variants na makukuha. Like this one, I have the Shea Butter. I have the 
olive and I have the rice and meron pa yung mga bulaklak and yung mga prutas pa, may longgan pa. So, mamili na lang kayo kung anong gustong variant ninyo. But for me, again, it the effect is the same. So, may mga face mask for anti-aging, may mga face mask for oily skin type, may mga face mask for dry skin type. So, mamili na lang kayo. I really wanted to try the leaders. Leaders in solution ba tawag doon? Or leader solution? Pero yun yung sikat na face mask na makikita mo raw kagad yung effect. I, I, I don't know about that, but gusto gusto ko i-try yun. But anyway, dako tayo sa fragrance. Hindi ko alam kung saan i-shoot yung fragrance. Hindi ko alam kung sa tools o dito ba. Siguro dito ko na lang siya i-include. So, this is the Rose and Ride Jom Malone Vanilla and Denise. Uh, I won't elaborate on it. I've talked about this on my November faves, if I'm not mistaken. And it's completely gone right now. Gone in one and a half month. Ganon siya. Kabilis na ubo sa akin. Maraming nag-message siya na they have ordered this on Rose and Rye. Uh, I will link her below. Tied din nila yung Jomalone Vanilla and Anise and they loved it. So, I highly suggest na kung naghahanap kayo ng fragrance na mura, I think this is worth 220 yung 30ml nila. And you can, kung, kung hindi kayo kampante or hindi kayo you know, gusto nyo muna itry, meron sila nung 10 ml But I suggest you get 30 ml because it's really good. Next one is a skincare for the kilikili. This is the RMK Whitening Deodorant. I'm sure you have heard of this sa mga local YouTubers natin. Actually, napabili ako nito because local YouTubers are raving about it. Natry ko na siya before the video of um, Simply Raise. I saw Simply Raise did a video about this. I don't know if that's a vlog or a review. But, and I agree 100%. If you are suffering from a very wet, sweaty underarms, try this one out because it will dry it out. Dry it out. Hindi ko alam kung anong magic ang ginagawa nito. Pero hindi ka magpapawis ng bongga bongga. What I do is, I spray this on a cotton and then dun ko ipapahid. Hindi ko siya directly ina-apply. I, I will count this as one kasi hindi ko naman sila ginagamit one and the other. So this is castor oil. So, if you have a really short, sparse lashes like I do, and kung problem nyo rin is yung um, brows ninyo, try castor oil because it promotes hair growth. Marami siyang benefit. I use this mainly for my lashes and my brows, especially sa lashes. Actually, yung brows, hindi ko naman masyadong problema yung hair sa brows. Pero yung lashes ko talaga, it's really, really, really sparse. You know, a boost, a healthy boost for my lashes together with this one. This is the Poly Lash and Brow Serum. I will link the seller below. Uh, nakalimutan ko na yung name ng shop niya. Hindi nila nilenten yung lashes ko, pero pinapa-volumize niya. Like, nas, parang nadadagdagan, nag-hair nag, nag growth talaga. So, parang ganun yung effect niya sa akin. I, for the nails, this is the Sansan Acetone Free Nail Polish Remover Pads. This is wonderful. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ngayon ko lang ito nalaman. It's just so hustle-free. Kung kayo, tinatamad rin kayo na mag- hanap ng bulak at maglagay ng bulak at magtanggal ng nail polish, try these pads because they they just do it. So, sampung mga daliri, isang pad lang. Tipid siya sa akin, you get here 30 pads. 32? 32 pads. I would like to include my favorite nail polish for 2016. I am sure you know, you guys, if you are an OG subscriber, if you really watch my favorites video, you already know, it's the Sassy Colors Coffee Brown. So, yun ang bonggang, bonggang, bonggang gustong gusto kong colors. I, those shades are just my jam. Parang purplish, purplish, violet. Not actually violet. It's like a lavender color. But anyway, speaking of nails, yun ang favorite top two. As in ba, andun kasi sa drawer ko. Actually, that's an accidental um, product. So, isama, isasama ko yun. Coffee Brown of Sassy Colors. And lastly, Lastly, finally, is the Keratin Hair Reconstructor. Then I also love the huge tub of the Keratin Hair Spa. But I think they are not FDA approved. If you're going to try those out, take note that maybe they are not FDA approved. Maybe they are not safe. But I took the risk. Actually, ito yung um, last uh, order ko before ko nalaman na hindi siya FDA approved. I think that's a video of Simply Raise again. May subscriber raw siya na nag-message siya kanya na hindi FDA approved yung mga yun. Maybe kaya sila mura. They work wonders sa aking hair. I don't really do much on my hair. As you can see, I just throw in a bun or I just, I don't know. I don't blow dry. I don't curl. I owe my hair care to this product. So, just that sad na hindi siya FDA approved. But anyway, those worked wonders for 2016 and I think they are worth mentioning. Those are my favorites item for 2016 when it comes to hair, when it comes to skin, when it comes to nails, even for my lashes. So yun yung mga nag-workout sa aking skin type. Actually, these in general are like my 
for all seasons item. So, kahit maging oily ako, kahit maging dry ako, they are working fine on me. They don't break me out. I don't see irritations or feel irritated. They're just good. I'm going to try to film an updated skincare routine because meron na akong mga items na hindi ginagamit on my last skincare routine. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the last of the series. I really did enjoy filming my Best of Beauty 2016. It's a pleasure to talk about the items you do love. It's very, very quick. Hindi na ako nag-film ng declutter video. So, if you are um, looking for the items that I decluttered, they are on sale sa Shopee account ko. Again, if you are not a fan or if you just if you are just disgusted using a pre-loved item, huwag nyo na lang i-check because yun ay mga open lang naman sa mga willing to buy my pre-loved items. Everything is sanitized and everything is on good condition and kung meron silang box, they will come in the box. So, I do keep the box. Anyway, just check out the Shopee account because it's just a spur of the moment. You know, decluttering is a spur of the moment. If you are on the mood to declutter, grab it. Thank you so much dun sa mga nakabili. And yeah, in general, thank you so much guys for watching this series. I will miss it. Uh, maybe next year we will do this again. I will try to film my January favorites. Actually, I am skeptical on filming a monthly fave because they tend to make me buy makeup. So, I am thinking of doing a um, items I'm loving. Parang ano na lang siya, quarterly or semi-annually or more frequently kung naiipo na yung mga updated um, beauty items na gustong gusto ko. So, anyway, those are the updates and those are, <laughs> this is the end of the series. Thank you so much, guys, sa lahat ng nanood from the face to the skincare. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you find this helpful. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to click the little bell button for notifications. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you on my next video, guys. Always remember, be beautiful. Be you. Bye! <coughs> Mas nagustuhan ko yung effect niyan. <coughs> <coughs>